Knott's Berry Farm is the oldest theme park in California and is filled with history. However, in the center of the park, there is a building that actually predates the history of Knott's Berry Farm itself. That building is the Wilderness Dance Hall. Long before it sat on the outskirts of the ghost town at Knott's, it was known as Jeffrey's Barn and was located about 30 miles to the north in Burbank, where it played an important role in the history of boxing and pro wrestling in Southern California. James J. Jeffries was born in Carroll, Ohio on April 15, 1875. After moving cross-country to Los Angeles when he was about seven years old, Jeffries took up boxing as a teenager. In 1899, at the age of 24, Jeffries won the world heavyweight title from Bob Fitzsimmons at Coney Island in Brooklyn by knockout. Jeffries was so dominant in the ring, he ran out of opponents who could challenge him and he retired with an undefeated record in 1905. In 1904, Jeffries would purchase 107 acres of land in Burbank. He would later build a large ranch home and a barn where Victory Boulevard and Buena Vista Street intersect today. When Jeffries was world heavyweight champion, black boxers were not able to challenge for the world heavyweight title. That changed in 1908 when Jack Johnson fought for and won the title. Having been deprived of the matchup previously due to the prejudices of the time, in 1910, Jeffries was talked into coming out of retirement for a match with Johnson. Billed as the fight of the century, Jeffries and Johnson met on July 4, 1910 in Reno, Nevada. While the fight was scheduled for 45 three-minute rounds, Jeffries, who was out of shape after a six-year layoff, was taking such a beating that his manager stopped the fight in the 15th, giving Johnson a technical knockout. Jeffries would later remark, I couldn't have beaten Johnson on my best day. And as you can see in the footage, this is the actual moment where the fight was stopped and Johnson was declared the victor. 1929, Jeffries cleared some space in his barn to add a ring and began training a few protégés to box. In 1931, he added a dormitory for a dozen fighters and began to turn his old barn into a recreational hall and boxing ring. Jeffrey's Barn was the location of the biggest fights in the area. The annual Golden Glove tournament sponsored by the Los Angeles Times, beer companies, and local police departments. Pro wrestling events would soon join boxing at Jeffrey's Barn. The biggest wrestling stars of the day, such as Gorgeous George, Baron Leon, Enrique Torres, and world champion Lou Fez, would all appear at Jeffrey's Barn. Movies were even filmed there, such as the climactic scene in 1939's They Made Me a Criminal. And here's James Jeffries as Santa Claus with the young Debbie Reynolds and Shirley Temple. After Jeffries died on March 3, 1953, the land and the barn were sold. Walter Knott purchased the barn, disassembled it, and moved it to its current location at Knott's Berry Farm. Eventually Knott's transformed Jeffries' barn into the Wilderness Dance Hall. Though it has a fresh coat of paint and a new name, Jeffrey's Barn still retains much of its original look. Throughout the year, Knott's holds various events in the Wilderness Dance Hall, but every winter it becomes Santa's Christmas Cabin. When you head inside the Wilderness Dance Hall, the interior walls and roof look the same as they would have if you visited in the 1930s. The interior lighting is much improved, but it really wasn't that bad during its time as a boxing and wrestling venue. In fact, in January 1950, KNBH, which is now KNBC Channel 4 in Los Angeles, entered into an agreement to broadcast the weekly Saturday night wrestling events from Jeffrey's Barn. The local Lincoln Mercury dealer would pay $1,500 a week to sponsor the broadcast. That is almost $17,000 adjusted for inflation. There had been talks in recent years of televised pro wrestling returning to the Wilderness Dance Hall, with Championship Wrestling from Hollywood coming close to running events there in 2016 and 2017 before negotiations fell through. When James Jeffries was inducted into the National Boxing Hall of Fame, the ceremony to induct him was held at the Wilderness Dance Hall at Knott's Berry Farm. However, as of December of 2019, there was nothing inside the barn to reference its history or any relation to James Jeffries. 
The only indication of its history is this small sign on the outside of the barn. And that's our look at the Wilderness Dance Hall, formerly known as Jeffrey's Barn. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.